Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Three employees sickened after chemicals mix at Amazon facility in Nashua. Employees' symptoms included respiratory-related issues. Three employees were sickened Thursday after chemicals were mixed together at an Amazon processing center in Nashua, fire officials said. The incident forced the evacuation of the building at 10 State Street. Two of the three people who were affected were taken to a hospital and were treated and released. The third person remained hospitalized Thursday afternoon, officials said. We arrived and located one female individual that needed to be assisted from the building and two male co-workers that needed to be assisted from the building, said Deputy Chief. The three workers were cleaning the building when they were exposed, officials said. It was reported to us that the employees were mixing a known chemical and there was possibly an unknown chemical in the bucket already that they were putting their chemicals in and that caused the reaction. The three workers were suffering from several symptoms, officials said. And Nashua Fire and Rescue tweeted this at 5.53 a.m. This morning, take a look. This is them at the scene, as you can see. The manager of a Buffalo Wild Wings in Burlington, Massachusetts, was overcome by a mixture of cleaning chemicals in November and died. The Nashua Fire and Rescue team said the incident was on their minds as they weren't sure at first what they were dealing with. Until we got eyes on the situation and evaluate it, that's in the back of our mind. You're definitely thinking about that worst case scenario. Other workers were evacuated from the building as a precaution. None of them showed any symptoms, officials said. Amazon issued a statement saying, the company takes the safety of its employees seriously and is working with local officials on the investigation. The state fire marshal's office has been notified and officials with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration said they were at the facility and have opened an inspection. And that is for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another news report. Good night and bye, everyone.